Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 6 of my Traditional Music Hangouts on Air. I am Ed Yother. In this episode, I was joined by Jeremy Welch from Plano, Texas, and Peter Fratterdeus from Dubuque, Iowa. I'd also like to thank Dan Shingler for helping me keep an eye on all of the comments while we were live. Uh, if you'd like to know more about this series, you can look for the Hangouts and Live video link on my website, edyother.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the subscribe button. Uh, I've also started putting the audio from these edited versions of the Hangouts onto soundcloud.com. So if you'd like to listen to an audio only version of the, first, of the two or three most recent episodes, you can head to soundcloud.com slash trad, H-O-A, uh, T-R-A-D-H-O-A. I'm also working on trying to build this into a podcast, so keep an ear out for more news on that in the future. Let's enjoy. Or I hope you enjoy the hangout. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, hi, Jeremy. Um, I'm a uh, instrumentalist and vocalist from Plano. I sing Irish music and traditional music of pretty much whatever variety I can find music to sing for, with, through <laughs> something, some preposition in there. Um, I'm really glad that this pick was stuck in my or in the neck of my Citern, or else uh, I would have been held responsible by the wife for a very expensive pick. Uh -huh. mm. Um, Irish lads for the young and stern with adventure in your soul. There are better ways to spend your days than in working down a hole. I was tall and true, all the six foot two, and they broke me across the back. By a name I'm known, and it's not my own. They call me Crooked Shack. Simple reason why it was because I could work hard as and all. I was tall and true, all a six foot two, when they brought me across the back. By a name I'm known, and it's not my own, for they called me Crooked Jack. I've seen men old before them. Times their faces drawn and gray, but I never thought that a big jack would soon be the self same way. I was tall and true, all a six foot two, when they broke me across the back. By a name I'm known, and it's not my own, for they call me Crooked Jack. Now they say that honest toil is good for the body and the soul. But I tell you boys, it's for sweat and blood that they want you down a hole. I was tall and true, all a six foot two, when they broke me across the back. By a name I'm known, and it's not my own. They call me Crooked Jack I was tall and true All a six foot two When they broke me across the back By a name I'm known As my own For they call me Crooked Jack You know what, before you do oh. uh, Introduce yourself Oh uh, yes, I'm sorry <laughs> I'm Peter uh, Fra uh, Frater Deus, uh, we, uh, we have a little group here in Dubuque, Iowa, and uh, trying to get a I've been trying to get a session started here for about 10 years now, and I've managed to find a couple of people that at least care about the music enough to make an effort, mm. uh, but I'm still the only uh, tune player in the, in the whole group, and uh, so I end up playing for three hours myself along with the, uh, my, my good friend Dan Carraway, who I actually would like to have come here sometime and we can maybe mm -hmm. do this together uh, because he's, he's quite a fine guitarist uh, mm -hmm. and is learning the Irish uh, style of accompaniment. But uh, so um, I've been playing on and off for, you know, since the early 90s and should be better for that, for all that time that I've been playing, but this is where I am today, and we can only do what we can do. So, but again, it's, it's always wonderful to run into people, and uh, you never know, we'll meet up at a session in, in real time sometime. Uh, and I, I think it's a great way to, to make connections and to find friends and so forth. So thanks again for inviting me, and uh, so I'll play a little, I'll, I'll probably start out with a jig or two and just see where we go, oh. okay? Thank you. Sounds good. Sort of figure that way.
What you got for us now? Um, I'm going to try one of those unaccompanied singing pieces. Oh, um, right. Also one of those that I never took the time to learn how to play on, on an instrument. I'm sure it's dead simple after listening to it a, you know, a couple more mm -hmm. times, but when I started singing it, I was just singing it everywhere I went, and by the time mm -hmm. I took it on stage with me, I had never picked an instrument up to even try and figure out what it sounded like, mm -hmm. and so I just kind of stuck with it as a cappella for, for a long time. Have you heard of Phil the flute from the town of Ballymuck? Actually, times are going hard with them. In fact, the man was broke. Well, he just sent out a notice to his neighbors, one and all, as to how he'd like their company that evening at a ball. And when writing out, he was careful to suggest to them that should they find a hat of his convenient to the door, the more they put in. Whenever he requested them, the better would the music be for batter in the floor with a toot on the flute, a twiddle on the fiddle, oh, hopping round the middle like a herring on the grid, low oh, up, down, hands around, and crossing to the wall, a hat and the gaiety it filled the flute's ball there was Mr. Dennis Dogerty who kept the running dog. There was Little Crooked Patty from the Tidal Log at Bog. There were boys from every barony and girls from every art. And the beautiful Miss Brady in her private ass and cart. Along with them came Bounce and Mrs. Gafferty. Little Mickey Mulligan was also to the fore. Rose, Suzanne, and Margaret to Rafferty. The flower of Art McGullion and the pride of Petrival with a toot on the flute. A twiddle on the fiddle, oh, hopping round the middle like a herring on the grid. Low oh, up, down, hands around and cross into the wall. Had not we the gaiety, it filled the flute's ball. When little Mickey Mulligan got up to show them how, that's when the widow Cafferty stepped out a bit of row. I could dance you up your legs as she is short as you were born. If you'd only make the piper play, the hair was in the corn. So Phil played up to the best of his ability. The lady and the gentleman began to do the share. Faith and Mick, it's you that has agility. Be go to Mrs. Cafferty, you're leppin' like a hare with a toot on the flute, a twiddle on the fiddle, oh, hopping round the middle like a herring on the griddle, oh, up, down, hands around and cross into the wall. Hadn't we the gaiety, it fill the flute as ball. Then Phil the fluter tipped a wink to the little crooked pat. I think it's nearly time to see for passing round the hat. So Paddy passed the cowbin round and looking mighty cute. He said, you've got to pay the piper when he toothers on the flute. They all joined in with the greatest joviality. Cover in the buckle and shuffle in the cart. Jigs were danced all the very highest quality. But the widow beat the company at handle in the foot with a toot on the flute. A twiddle on the fiddle, oh, hopping around the middle like a herring on the griddle, oh, up, down, hands around and cross into the wall. Add into the gaiety at Phil Fluter's ball with a toot. On the flute and a twiddle on the fiddle, oh, hopping on the middle like a herring on the griddle, oh, up, down, hands around and crossing to the wall. Hadn't we the gaiety? It filled the fluter's ball. Hadn't we the gaiety? It filled the fluter's ball.
Oh, thank you. <laughs> a little variation on uh, Morrison's jig there. Yeah. Very, very cool arrangement. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's kind of um, evolved over time. The first part, of course, is a, a traditional air that the name of which I can never remember. Um, originally learned on the whistle and over time worked it out into the guitar and so forth. But I have fun with it. Gonna stick with the good old standard as far as uh, farewell songs. Um, <laughs> of all the money that e'er I had, I spent it in good company, and all the harm that e'er I've done. Alas, it was to none but me, and all I've done for want of wit, to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass, good night and joy be with you. I had money enough to spend in leisure time to sit a while. There is a fair maid in this town who surely has my heart beguiled. Her rosy cheeks, her ruby lips. I own she has my heart enthralled. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Oh, of all the comrades that e'er I've had, they're sorry for my going away. 
And all the sweethearts that e'er I've had Would wish me one more day to stay. But since it falls unto my lot That I should arise while you should not, I'll gently rise and softly call Good night and joy be with you 